Hey everyone, this is Chris, bringing you another new live playthrough of Lord of the Rings, the card game. Uh, this time I am using some of the new cards from the latest expansion. Sort of came out at Gen Con, available in stores, I think this week, maybe next week, either way. Uh, but we are going up against Lost in Mirkwood because the Withered Heath is a very slow scenario in my experience. And I don't really like playing slow scenarios because they sort of make for a bit of a slog on the video. But I'm using some of the new player cards, so we're going to talk about that real quick before we jump into the game. First off, our hero lineup for this quest is going to be Grimbay or the Old, the new hero card from Withered Heath. Uh, hopefully he is going to be able to more or less single-handedly deal with the enemies that come off of the encounter deck. Uh, if he can't kill them in one blow, usually he can kill them in two. And most of his resources are going to go towards that endeavor. Uh, we've got Sam and we've got Arwen, who give us a lot of willpower off the bat because Grimbayorn does not contribute any. And it gives us the spheres that we need in order to play some of the other fun cards that I am looking for. So let's delve into some of those fun cards. I've got Bayorn's Rage, also from Withered Heath, uh, which works really well with Grim Bayorn in order to reduce the damage he takes from an attack or, and beef up the amount of damage that he deals in response, uh, only to enemies that have a lot of defense, but still a fun thing. Uh, we've got Hauberk of Mail from the Wilds of Ravanian. This is still basically the best card from that box entirely. It can go into so many decks, and Bayorn with armor is great. And by Bayorn, I mean Grim Bayorn. Uh, and the last one, I think, is going to be a bit of a sleeper hit from Withered Heath, uh, depending on who you talk to, but it is Long Lake Fisherman. When you play Long Lake Fisherman, you pick a number and then you look at the top five cards of your deck to find a card that costs that amount. This is amazing. It is so much better than just play an ally and draw a card because it allows you to sort of specify what you're looking for and dig five cards deep to try and find it. Uh, in this deck, I will probably be naming one most of the time. That gets me Hauberk of Mail. Gets me Elven Light, gets me Bayorn's Rage, gets me Sneak Attack, gets me some allies like Errand Rider in order to shuffle resources around, or the Galadrim Weaver in order to shuffle events back into the deck. Uh, two is also pretty good. There are some very solid two cost cards in this deck. Uh, there's more Long Lake Fishermen, of course. I have a couple of Armored Destroyers for Grim Bayorn. Uh, I have Envoy of Pelagir, which helps to shuffle resources around, again, a little bit. And there's at least one other really good two-cost card that you might want to look for. And other than that, you mostly don't call out other numbers. Although there are four five-cost allies and five four-cost allies. Um, important for me to know, but probably not ever going to say that. And some number of zero-cost cards. Cram, and what was the other one? Doesn't matter. Not important. All right, so that's this deck. We're going to quest. Grim Bayorn is going to fight, and hopefully Long Lake Fisherman is going to pull out something good from the encounter deck, or from the player deck. So with that, let's get to it. I'm going to shuffle these back in. So much more work to talk about specific cards at the beginning as opposed to just playing the game. And I have to deal with the encounter setup, which I forgot to do. This quest is kind of a pain that way. It's a lot of setup you need. Okay, all done. I have control. Searching for a way out is there. And now I just need a forest spider. There we go. Uh, forest spider is great. I just need one attachment or, I mean, yeah, basically one attachment in order to deal with it in one hit. But if I don't get that chance, it's totally fine. Haldan can usually take care of it in the second bit of combat. 
All right. On to stage 1B, threat is set. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Get my opening hand ready to go. Uh, and this hand is fantastic, so we are absolutely going to keep it. Let's get to it. Draw a card. Galadrim Weaver is a good one. Uh, but first things first, do die Mark for Grimbayorn. Now he will be able to deal with the Forest Spider in one shot. I have a second one, but I don't really need it. <laughs> I mean, I also could use Sneak Attack next round to pop in another Long Lake Fisherman, but again, that, that doesn't seem like what we want to be doing. Uh, so, I will send six to the quest, up against two, up against, okay, well that stinks, but all right, up against two, my six is four progress, I discard the top four, and add this objective, <laughs> uh, which means I discard until I find an enemy, come on enemy. I swear they're in here. There's one. All right. <laughs> Can't travel, no locations. Uh, I am forced to engage this forest spider, which I will do. It's currently swinging for three with a shadow effect and I can't use Grimbayorn's secret tech. Wow, that's a, that's a hell of a brain fart. All right, I'm gonna shuffle that back into my deck and deal them a shadow card from the right place. Uh, so three up against, attacking enemy makes an additional attack against you after this one. Well, I guess all my enemies are clustered up. So another three attack. Um, pretty much have to take this undefended. All right, three damage on to Grimbeorn and two damage back to the Forest Spider. I could have gone substantially worse. Uh, the Ravenous Spider is actually definitely not something I want to deal with right away, uh, but no big deal. I've got plenty of time for that. Hopefully I can keep resources in the future. All right, refresh takes me up to 29. Uh, I should actually be at 30 because I had to engage this enemy. Everyone stands up. One, two, three resources and I draw a card. Well, yeah, okay, that's the one I wanted to see it is a Hauberk of Mail. Uh, and I believe I will discard this mark. Uh, no, let me keep the mark. I'm going to discard this Weaver to put a resource on Arwen. Then I can spend two for a Long Lake Fisherman, like I said. Uh, and I am going to name one. So, one, two, three, four, five. Well, that's a whiff. All right. <laughs> Bad luck right out of the gate. Uh, two would have been great, would have gotten me the... Armored Destroyer, five would get me Gandalf that I could use with a sneak attack in my hand, but one, I was hoping for Elven Light and I didn't find it. So, all right. Let's quest yet again. Uh, up against three in the staging area, I'm going to send six. I don't think I am too likely to raise my threat because of this. And in fact, I will not. So up against six, I would make one progress, but this is not that kind of quest. I am forced to engage the forest spider, takes up my threat by one, and I get a shadow and a shadow. Uh, I will defend this forest spider, swing in for three with Grimbayorn. All right, uh, my four defense Grimbayorn takes that just fine. And I spend one, his four attack will kill the forest spider. And I will defend this two damage attack with 
a fisherman who is very dead, mostly because I was disappointed in him. Uh, and Haldon will kill this forest spider. And so now we are clear. Uh, my threat is a little higher than I would like. I don't have some of the nice card draw pieces, but I think we'll live. Grimbayorn is well set up, even if I don't have a ton of extra resources right now. I'm gonna draw my card. Well, that's a Gandalf. That should help quite a bit. Uh, I guess I'm gonna keep my resource on Sam, sneak in Gandalf later. Yeah, pretty much. So, gonna send six to the quest one more time. Revealing Twilight Hall, which I cannot do anything about right now. Six up against five means I do nothing. I'm going to hold back this round. Can't travel, can't do anything else. So, tick up to 33. Refresh. Draw a card. That's a good one. Get my resources. All right, now I have Elven Light, so I'm gonna cycle to draw with that. I have a Cram. This is perfect. Uh, yeah, it's basically exactly what I was looking for. Uh, I'll play a Long Lake Fisherman. I'm gonna say two. Well, didn't whiff this time. I will take that Envoy of Pelagir and shuffle the rest of these back in. Hoping for the Destroyer. That's okay. Uh, let's see. It is not worth me paying for that right now because I need the Grimbayorn resources and the Sam resources this round. Uh, but good news is unless I reveal an enemy, probably don't need to do anything else in terms of combat. So let's just quest. Uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's leave the fisherman up. Eight up against five. Eight up against eight is a tie, which is totally fine with me. Uh, but getting an enemy is going to stifle my plans for dealing with this spider. So I guess I will gauge the East Bite Patrol. It gets a shadow card. Grimbayorn will defend. Four defense versus three attack. Defender cannot ready this round. Well, that definitely stinks. Uh, but spend one resource off Grimbayorn. Kill the East Bite Patrol. And, you know, we're doing all right. Yeah. All right. I uh, should have been up, up one for engaging that enemy. And up another one in refresh. So here we go. Well, that's a fun card, but probably not the one I need. I'm remembering that I probably cannot use Grimbayorn's response against this ravenous spider, which is a bit of a bummer. But I will cycle Oven Light one more time, draw a card, play Dunedain Remedy, heal one off of Grimbayorn. Uh, let's spend two for an Envoy of Pelagir. Adds a resource to Arwen. And I can Snail Sneak Attack this round, which I think is what I will have to do. So we are going to send characters to the quest. I am sending six. Uh, let's see, I need eight to kill this spider, which is four, five, six, seven, eight. So I will send seven to the quest. Let's see what I get. Forest gate. All right, it's not too bad. Uh, I sent seven up against seven. 
nice and easy. I will travel to Forest Gate because I can do that. Uh, which is going to put one on Twilight Hall, which means I'll be able to travel to it and we'll actually be able to make some progress. Uh, so here is the plan. I'm going to optionally engage this ravenous spider. Ready Sam and raises my threat. Uh, oh God. I don't think I get to ready Sam because I believe the forced effect on the quest stage happens first. And so now my 36 threat is not lower than the engagement cost of this enemy. Everything is fine. All right, but it makes an immediate attack. Uh, I will defend with Grimbayorn and ready him with Cram because that annoying no readying shadow effect. Uh, like I said, I don't think I can use the response, but my four defense versus four attack means I should be pretty solid. There's another Twilight Hull. That's good to see gone. I take no damage. We move into the combat phase and that is a shadow that should be shuffled back in because I flipped it over like an idiot. All right. Now it makes another attack. I'm going to sneak attack, drop in a Gandalf. Um, because my threat is pretty high right now, uh, it's not that high. And I do have another sneak attack, so I'm just gonna draw three cards. Okay, well, turns out the Octagon Shuffler is not the only one that does weird things. There's some Gandalfs. <laughs> I think my threat is gonna be fine. All right, and I did some math. Uh, I have four, five, six, seven, eight, which is what I need. So Gandalf will defend the Ravenous Spider. Defending player must choose and discard one attachment he controls. All right, uh, Dune or Die and Remedy, that is gonna be you. Gandalf takes no damage. And like I said, four, five, six, seven, eight, kills the Ravenous Spider pops the forest clearing up into the staging area. That's the end of combat, so Gandalf comes back to my hand. Refresh puts me at 38. And we'll move on to the next round. Drop my card, gain my resources. Uh, this deck is interesting because it doesn't have any resource acceleration, uh, which means that some of these expensive cards, like the Gimli I just drew, don't do much most of the time. Uh, although Arwen can generate more resources for herself, which is pretty good. And if I had an Errand Rider, I'd be able to shuffle them around. Uh, but I don't yet, so let's just discard Elven Light and cycle it back up to draw another card. <laughs> which gets me a second Dunardine Remedy to heal up Grimbeorn. And you know, okay, <laughs> we're fine. I will send three, six, uh, seven, eight to the quest. There's two up against me. I only need to make four progress. I forgot to draw two cards from traveling to the forest gate. Okay, so I sent eight up against two. Reveal abandoned village, which is guarded by another twilight hall. All right, so. My eight up against four is four progress, clears the forest gate, puts a token on both of these other locations, which means I can travel to them now, which is pretty good. <laughs> I'm just gonna have all the objective locations in the staging area ready to go for the future, I guess. So let's travel to this Twilight Hall, raising my threat by one. And in refresh, we race by another one and move on to the next round. Uh, this is not exactly typical of how this quest has gone in my testing, but it's pretty close. <laughs> Just end up finding a ton of these objective locations and it allows you to sort of pick and choose your path through the quest very easily. Uh, yep, and I draw my card for the round. Four, two, four. And really to me, the notion that this quest is the same difficulty as the previous one in this box is kind of absurd. Uh, once you know 
sort of what it's going to take to get to the outcome that you want, uh, which in most cases is going to be quest progress for solo players and not the big massive enemy. It doesn't seem that hard overall. Uh, I'm going to cycle on the light, draw myself a card. Ooh, that's a fun one. Uh, yeah, okay. Spend two off of Sam for an Armored Destroyer on Grimbeorn. Four resources on Grimbeorn, which I think is overkill for the cards that we have in play. So there is an Honor Guard. I am going to spend one of these resources off of Arwen, play a Gladrum Weaver, and shuffle my little bit of healing back into the deck. All right, questing for the round up against four. I will send three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's send 10. 10 against four. It's probably not gonna clear it. Overgrown path. No, yes. So 10 up against seven is three progress. I might actually get bogged down by this because I don't have the ability to sort of explosively quest uh, unless I look into Faramir, but next round I have Glorfindel and a sneak attack for Gandalf, so I think we're probably fine. No enemies, no none of the things, so here we go. Up to a casual 40 threat. <laughs> Refresh all my characters. Draw my card for the round. We are up to three resources on Grimbeorn, one on Sam, four on Arwen. So discard Glorfindel to make Arwen have five resources and then spend them all for a Glorfindel, which will definitely help. I think I do, for questing, I'm going to sneak attack pop in one of these Gandalfs. Uh, I'm gonna drop my threat this time because being at 35 is a lot nicer than being at 40, uh, especially since I'm gonna have to raise my threat by at least two in order to travel to that Twilight Hall if I want to. And we go to the quest. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18. There's one card left. If I were a better counter, I'd be able to tell you what it is, but I'm not. So, 18 up against 7 in the staging area. I reveal a forest gate. Alright, so I make plenty of progress to clear out this twilight hall, which adds an abandoned village to the staging area. Uh, I should be careful because those are not guarding each other. And that ticks this up to 2. Of those, uh, yeah, I mean, might as well keep going. So let's travel to this second Twilight Hall <laughs> just to get it out of the way. Raises my threat up to 37. Uh, Gandalf should be back in my hand at this point. No enemies, so that's the end of this round. And I'm going to preemptively shuffle this quest deck because we definitely need it. Can't tell if that was on camera, but the whole thing was in the discard pile. All right, so let's get my resources. Draw my card for the round, that's a good one. Uh, I'm gonna cycle Oven Light to draw another card. I should be a little careful about this because I know there's some hand discarding. All right, well, we'll play two for an Honor Guard. I could no, I can't sneak into Gandalf anymore. I could save up for another Destroyer, which is pretty good. So we're gonna do that. All right, up against five in the staging area. I'm gonna quest for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Uh, I need to do more than that. 12, 13, 14. Hey, a spider. All right, 14 up against eight is six progress. Clears the Twilight Hall. Nice and easy. Uh, do I travel to Forest Gate or the Dark Black Woods? I think I will travel to the Dark Black Woods. <laughs> I've checked myself because I feel like that really wants to be Dark Backwoods, but no, it's Dark Black Woods. Okay, so uh, I am forced to engage the Ravenous Spider. And I'm going to read Armored Destroyer real quick because I forget the exact timing, just in case I get that shadow that prevents readying. Here we go. Uh, Ravenous Spider makes an immediate attack, which I will defend with Grimbaorn. Defender cannot ready this round. That is exactly the shadow effect I was thinking about. Uh, but Grimbaorn takes no damage. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with that. Ravenous Spider is going to make another attack, uh, which I will defend with Honor Guard. Honor Guard is very dead. I guess he doesn't have to be dead. Yeah, I'll use the <laughs> second Honor Guard to prevent one of those damage, so the Honor Guard squad. Unfortunately, I cannot kill the spider this round. I sent too many characters to the quest. I mean, I could have Bayorn's Raged, but I think I'll be all right. Uh, let me just discard this Elven Light, ready Glorfindel, and I can put three damage on the spider. And it's only gonna make one attack next round, so that's already way better than it was. So let's move on. Uh, I should have raised my threat by one because I engaged the spider. I forgot at 1B I cannot have reduced my threat, so technically I'm at 43, about to be at 44, and that Gandalf was slightly wasted. Uh, but okay, yep, 44 threat, <laughs> refreshing. Good thing I only Gandalf for threat one time. Uh, we draw a card, get some resources. I feel a little bad because I picked this quest. It's not as slow as some of the others, but it's become pretty slow. Uh, let's spend two for a fisherman. I'm going to say one. Uh, Hubbard of Mail, Treebeard, Cram, Elven Light, and Honor Guard. I'll take Elven Light. Grimbaorn is exhausted, unfortunately. I'll cycle Oven Light to draw a card. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Two off of Grimbaorn for an Envoy, adding that resource to Arwen. And I'm gonna use that resource to pull Elven Light back into my hand. Oh, I, <laughs> all right, I guess I'm gonna spend one on an Errand Rider. My board is getting a little bit gigantic. So let's quest. Uh, I think maybe this round I will finally advance past stage one. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 14, almost certainly more than enough. Up against two in the staging area. Each player discards each resource. Uh, okay. Discard two resources. Threat goes up to 46. But I have more than enough to get past the dark black woods. Freeze up this encounter card. And I pretty much have to travel to one of these. Uh, A, C, and C. Uh, let's do 
Overgrown path first because damage is way easier for me to deal with than threat. Uh, abandoned village is probably not too bad either, but maybe not this round. So, advance to the next stage A. We go to 2A where I shuffle the spiders in. Uh, before I travel, I have to do this overgrown path effect. I kind of realized I hate this a little bit because I travel which forces me to shuffle the deck, shuffle the discard pile into the deck, reveal a card. All right, I take no damage. And then I grab a second encounter set and I shuffle that into the deck. Because obviously shuffling twice every time you advance a quest stage is just all sorts of fun. And I have to reveal one encounter card per player, which thankfully is just me. Can't play Gandalf next round because of the magic of that stupid treachery. All right. We reveal another Twilight Hall. Okay. We've moved on to 2B, which makes spiders surge, but I can reduce my threat now, which is always good. Oh, this spider is swinging in for four. I will defend with this honor guard. Defender cannot ready this round. Oh no. Uh, and I'll use this other honor guard to prevent one of the damage. As the honor guard bros can survive quite a lot. Uh, okay, and I only need five damage in order to kill this enemy. So here is three, four, five. Ravenous spider, you are done. I have no resources. I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, end of the round, tick up to 47 threat. Refresh all of these characters. Seriously, I have never built up this much of a board with this deck up until now. It's about to be a problem. <laughs> all right, I draw my card. I get my resources for the heroes. Uh, I'm going to, I'm just going to hold off. I think I need to Gandalf next round. And just in case I get that stupid treachery again, I want to generate resources with Arwen after staging. So committing to the quest, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's four in the staging area. I need to make four. Um, oh, right, my honor guard is exhausted. 12, is 12 good enough? I'll probably get up to four off the top of the deck. I think that's fine. All right, so I sent 12 up against four. Whew. Okay, uh, 12 becomes seven. Mongolian spawn is gonna surge into an old forest road. All right, so uh, that means seven, eight against my two, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I make a progress. Yeah, is that right? Two, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, up against seven, eight. I raise my threat by one instead. Okay, could be worse. There's that old forest road. I guess I'll put my errand rider over here where it might still be visible. Ungolian spawn. Well, at least it wasn't a shadow effect. Uh, I am forced to engage Ungolian spawn, which is just loads of fun all around. Pretty sure I can kill it. I uh, only have one resource on Grimbaron though. It's not immune to player card effects, at least. Uh, so. It gets Shadow, I'm going to defend with Grimbeorn. Uh, I'm going to spend Grimbeorn's resource on, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 damage available. All right, so I'm gonna spend Grimbeorn's resource on Baron's Rage. Uh, so, Ungolian spawn is three attack, zero defense for the rest of the round. Up against Grimbeorn's four defense and I can ready him. 
Uh, but I am forced to choose and discard an attachment I control, which I guess is going to be remedy again. I don't actually need to... Uh, no, you know what? I will use the Destroyer to ready Grimbayorn, so I don't have to pitch a card to ready Glorfindel. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's rid of Ungoing Spawn. Hopefully I don't have to deal with that again. Uh, before the end of the round, I'm going to discard. Discard this Gimli, put a resource on Arwen. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. So I can play Gandalf next round and everything will be good. Uh, yeah, okay. Refresh takes me up to 49 threat. Living dangerously. This was one damage on Grimbeorn. All right. Draw my card, generate my resources. I was kind of hoping for sneak attack, but I didn't get it. Uh, I could cycle an Elven Light and try. Yeah, let's do it. I will cycle Elven Light with Arwen. Drawing Dunedain Mark is not sneak attack. So, okay. <laughs> Here's five for Gandalf. Dropping my threat to 44. And I guess next round I'll Gandalf again. Maybe. All right, so uh, five in the staging area. Gonna quest a little harder this round, I think. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, and I'll save Gandalf. So 16 up against five. I only need to make four progress. All right. That adds three, so up against eight, my 16 is eight progress. Clears the overgrown path, adds a resource to this stupid Twilight Hall, uh, but I am not too worried about that right now. Didn't get any spiders. No, I think I actually have to go to Twilight Hall now. Uh, the spider stage is not as bad as some of the others. All right. Uh, to raise my threat by one for traveling there, and one more for the refresh phase. Gandalf goes away. Heroes do the hero thing. We draw a card. Two resources. One and one. <laughs> and just because I'm going to keep cycling this out, there's Dunedain Remedy. Take the one damage off Grimbeorn. I will discard this Blade Mastery that I will probably never use. Uh, real life, that should probably be Test of Will, but I don't like Test of Will, as I've said before, so Blade Mastery it is. Adds a resource to Arwen. <sighs> yeah. I don't want to Gandalf again. I think I need to Gandalf again. All right. Drops my threat down to 41. Gets rid of all these resources, but is otherwise just fine. So I can't Grimbear on this round very easily, but that's okay. I've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. Up against three in the staging area. Up against six in the staging area. More than enough to get rid of this Twilight Hall. No surgy spiders or anything like that. Uh, let me travel to Abandoned Village. It's going to advance me to 3C, uh, which is kind of obnoxious, but not too bad. So I'm not carried away, but truly lost. Discard cards from the... Oh, right, yeah, this is the one that gets me a location. And I put my hand underneath it. It's Twilight Hall. My hand is gone, that's okay. All right, so there's my hand under the Twilight Hall. <laughs> oh God, uh, I should have done Abandoned Villages and Counter Effect first, uh, but 
I think this works out to be slightly more difficult because now there's a slightly better chance of getting an enemy. And we'll just find out. Mounds of Mirkwood is not an enemy, so that doesn't get added to the staging area. And on 3D, each location that is guarding my hand gets absolutely massive. Okay. Glad I Gandalfed. I have no enemies. Gandalf is going to go away. My threat ticks up to 42. All of my characters are ready. I should have put an Elven Light in the discard pile in preparation for this, but that's okay. All right, I get my resources. This is maybe the only way that I will build them up. I draw my one card. This one is sneak attack. Last Gandalf is in there. Uh, but all right, I will commit to the quest up against two, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm against eight, like I said. I'm against 10, six progress, clears the abandoned village, adds a resource to this twilight hall. Uh, and this twilight hall requires one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, 15 quest progress to clear. So I think instead what I'm gonna do is travel to Uh, let's do forest clearing, which is going to shuffle this back into the deck, discard a card, and raise my threat. Uh, with no more Gandalfs, so that might be dangerous, but I know that we're just going to have to make progress, and I think I can probably pull that off. Depends on what I draw now. All right. So my threat by three up to 45. A uh, good chance we will make it. And we move on to 4C. When I reveal it, I remove searching for a way out. Uh, when I moved on from that, this hand gets discarded. So there's my Elven Light, my other Elven Light, and that Gandalf I mentioned, but that's okay. Uh, I did clear one for, no, that was already like that, right? Yeah. Uh, discards cards until I get an enemy and then it comes into play engaged with me. No, no, yes, King Spider. All right, King Spider is not super bad. Now, all I need to do is make 16 progress and not keep a bunch of enemies around. Seems doable. Uh, I have, I mean, Grimbaorn just kills this thing. So gets a shadow card, Grimbaorn defends. Uh, shadow effect does nothing. Would I rather discard this card and kill it this way or use Grimbaorn's resource? Uh, let's use the resource off Grimbaorn because that card could be good. Uh, kills the King Spider, so I don't have to raise my threat any more than I already did. Uh, all right, up to 46. Refreshing. Draw my card for the round. I get a one, two, two. Spend one off of Arwen to get Elven Light back. One, uh, let me discard this Elven Light again to bring her up to two. No, I think I need to draw with it again, just to refill my hand a little bit. Uh, that's good. Play a Cram on Grimbeorn. Uh, I have the Errand Rider to swap a resource over to him if I need it. Yeah, I feel okay about this right now. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 12 in the staging area. So I will send six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 
And I can send no one else. So 16 up against 12. 16 up against 17 raises my threat by one. Fair enough. I will errand rider one of these resources over to Grimbayorn. And we're moving on. Okay. Uh, 48, I can no longer travel to that Twilight Hall even one time. Draw my card for the round. Three, two, two. I right, cycle of light, drawing a card. Here's an errand rider so I can shift. Uh, and I'm going to spend net one for the third envoy. It's a little bit extra willpower. Play tree beard. I don't think that helps me. So questing. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Up against twelve. Oh. I make one progress. I might lose. End of the encounter phase, that doesn't matter to me. All right, so engage the Merkwood Patrol. I get a shadow card. Can't really do anything fancy. But Grimbyorn will defend. His uh, four defense versus five. Yep, okay. I'm going in spawn, raises everyone's threat by four, which is the end of the quest for me. Uh, I know I said that was relatively easy, but I think I just stalled a little too long on stage one instead of advancing to the stage with the spiders, uh, especially since Grimbayorn actually has a pretty easy time dealing with the spiders. Also, interestingly enough, despite having been through the spider stage, every other time that I have picked this quest, I have not seen Angolian spawn even once. So to have it come twice now is... <laughs> Just amusing, but you see how this goes, right? You sort of slowly build up your resources and your board, and Grimbayorn takes care of enemies more or less on his own. A uh, few things that sort of get in the way, these nasty Twilight Halls and their threat raising. Uh, losing my hand with this deck doesn't bother me. I just forget to play, th to play into it every time. Like, I really should have had the Elven Lights in the discard pile already. That would just be smart play. But it didn't, and I lost. So there we go. Uh, that was my first deck with the new Withered Heath cards. I think they did pretty well. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.